Hi again everyone, this time I'll be doing a different video on how to mod your flashlight, uh, especially how to mod your tail cap into some, something similar like this, or like this. This has three LEDs, this one has six LEDs. So before you're doing this mod, you need, obviously you need a house. In this case, I'll be doing the Convoy L2, L2, uh, S2 Plus uh, because this doesn't have a light, uh, the metal tail cap like this. This one has a metal tail cap, which is this one is easier to do. Um, you can also mod the metal tail cap like this. As you can see, it has red LED inside, but. Uh, in the newer batch like this it came with the rubber the black silicon rubber so it blocks light and on on the on this model there is no plastic ring on the side so no matter what you do you won't be able to get the light pass through the ring like this this is the this is has plastic ring on the side so the light can go pass through but this one doesn't so Unless you remove the metal tail cap, you won't be able to do the light tail cap mod. So fine. You won't be able to do it on also on the uh, high end, not high end. I mean the branded like Nightcore or Phoenix, because it won't. It's not really. It, it's not easy to disassemble. So you need a flashlight that you can open. And modern friendly, I would say. A convoy usually a good flashlight as a host or maybe you get get yourself a VLF A6 which is easy to do you can open it up so first thing you'll need a tweezer a sharp tweezer like this or if you to open the retaining ring on the tail cap to open the, this, the retaining ring like this or if, if the retaining ring is, I mean the tweezer is not strong enough, you, you need a plier like this. And also you need um, a multimeter so you can check the continuity. And it's always useful to have multimeters. This is a cheap $9 multimeter. Uh, it works for this project. so. I mean, it's handy to get multimeter around. You also need a 50k potentiometer. This will the potentiometer will adjust. You use it to adjust your the current to the LED. So you you control how how bright your tail cap LEDs are. You need, of course, you also need the uh, you also need the SMD LED. You choose your own color. So. You can even mix it. You want blue, orange, pink. It's your choice. Uh, this, uh, don't worry about the, the specifics or the details on the, each component because I'll link it in the description. So um, don't worry. You also need a board like this. This is where you solder your LEDs. This is uh you you need to order this on the osh part i also give uh give you uh, also give you the link to the how to order it <coughs> obviously need also need a translucent tail cap not all flashlight came with a translucent tail cap like this this came with trans transparent tail cap as standard so you don't need to replace it but uh a flashlight like Convoy S2 Plus, some of the types came with the black tail cap. So, no matter what you do, if you use the black tail cap, you won't be able to see the light. So, yeah, change tail cap. So, also keep that in mind. Also, uh, the tail cap came with, uh, came with two sizes. The BLF S6 came with 14 millimeters. The Convoy usually use 16 millimeters tail cap. So. 
you have to order uh, uh, the size that fits your flashlight so it's depend on your flashlight the convoy c8 also came with the 16 millimeter tail cap so you need 16 millimeter tail caps to replace it on this video i'll i will i will not be doing the modification itself because that will be done in the next part of the video so the video will be in several parts i'm not sure how many parts maybe two or maybe three yeah but not four i'm sure so the next part will be the resistor this will be this the function of this resistor it will be the the uh, the back fit or the what they call it the bleeder resistor that will supply the power to your tail cap the power will be provided by this resistor but the the current will be will be controlled by this potentiometer so the smd led also work but um, your normal through hole resistor also work so this is easier to do but the smd will be better to look at and more tidy uh, the value that i found to be useful to be work okay is between 100 150 mommy 150 to 400 ohms that should should okay so yeah mm. now i'll show you the the inside of the tail cap and how to open it let's set this aside I'll show you the modded one and the standard one. This is the modded one. Okay. I'll be using the tweezer and not tweezer the plier. The convo using a reverse thread, so don't get caught. Just remember that to open it, you go to clockwise. That is kind of annoying. I get caught in the first time. So in convoy flashlight, they're usually using a reverse thread, which means to open it, you have to go clockwise. Okay, this is a tile cap, if you never open one. This is the switch. Yeah, um, this is how the flashlight inside the tile cap like so so what we do is we replace this ring with the board that I mentioned earlier like so so like like that and this is where we solder the LEDs there are six of them is the six LEDs are separated into groups so you can control three LEDs into two groups which different brightness the brightness of each group is controlled by this uh, so this uh, one second um, potentiometer they are you can use two potentiometers hold on let me to and use all the board of the you can only use one and bypass the so you can solder one uh, potentiometer and then bypass the there's a solder bypass here which says b b with mean bypass so if you bypass and solder and bridge the solder so the uh, bridge the pad all the six leds are in one group so you only need one potentiometer to control the brightness of all the groups but if you want to have two groups and then you you have to remove the bridge if you did that before and you put uh, two potentiometers so you can control each group independently this is the what product the, what this is ok 
Okay, I'll show you earlier. This is how it finish. Um, I'll show you what's inside, what it looks like. Okay, my twister. Okay, strong enough. Okay. Okay, I want to tell you that this is not this is not by any means the best method or the only way to do it, but which but I found this is to be the reasonable way of doing these modifications. So this is what it looks like when it's done. And this is a switch that is not modified. As you can see, the the this the board has the resistor, which one? The 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 potentiometer. As you can see, and the power is from. Um, I don't come on, focus from each side of the switch this is where the the the, the power the supply the supply the or the LEDs on both sides this is the positive this is the negative how to find your positive and negative you use this that's why you need multimeters if you put in the reverse you'll damage the LED so you also don't mind this cable, this is just a bypass, it has nothing to do with the modi telcap modification. So, oh well, this is a, one of the modifications of the telcap, but it has nothing with to, to do with the, this LED modification. So as you can see, it's, quite, it's actually quite easy, but probably a bit fiddly if you ne never handle SMD components. So, you definitely need uh, a also need a solder this is my cheap Chinese temperature control solder so if you have maybe JBC which costs maybe 10 times the cost of my solder you probably know what you are doing um, you also I found also soldering SMD is quite useful with this blower I had with a reflow gun like this but it different on your on how you do your work I mean my solder soldering method also work but the hot air also quite convenient so yeah when, in the next video I'll show you how to do it and how to get it done but um, and thank you for watching I'll see you next on the uh, part two thank you